Hey, Bassish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of How To. And on today's episode, I'm going to show you the basics of DOSBox. And welcome back. Now, just like all my other how-to videos, this is made for people that don't know anything about the subject matter. It's made for newbies and people that want to get into maybe classic computer gaming. So, the first question is, what is DOSBox? So, DOSBox is a program that was made it kind of emulates the old operating systems of computers from the 80s and 90s, PC computers. So with this program, it's just making it very easy for you now to play these old DOS games in an easy format. So unless you grew up in the 80s and 90s, then DOS is going to be very intimidating for you, and I understand that. You're going to have to know like command lines to do things and it has to be very specific otherwise it does not work. That's why I'm going to show you just the very basics of DOSBox just to get a game running. So my goal here today is show you the real basics of DOSBox. I mean you yeah because you want to probably load an old game from the 80s or 90s, some Sierra classic or Prince of Persia or something like that and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so number one. First you've got to download DOSBox off the internet. Very easy to find. Just do a quick search, you'll find it in a matter of minutes. The download will be a few seconds. Install that and then we're ready to go. Okay, number two, you're going to have to download an old PC DOS game off the internet. Again, very simple, just type in DOS games and you'll be able to download anything you want extremely quickly. These files are super small because these games were made such a long time ago. I downloaded The Prince of Persia, so that's the game we're going to try out, the classic 1990 platform game. Also at the end of the program I'm going to give you a whole lot of resources and sites to go to and discuss them a little bit. Each one of them has their own advantages and disadvantages and are different ways of playing DOS games or using them, so we'll discuss that at the end. Okay, so this next step is really important. This is getting the files ready for what we want to use them for, for DOSBox. Okay, so first you want to go to the C drive on your computer and you're going to want to make a file called games, just like I've made over here. So just, you know, right click, make a folder just like you normally would. New folder, obviously call the folder games. And once that's done, you got it there. And now you got the first step done. On to the second step, download your game. I've downloaded Prince of Persia here. Now you're gonna drag that and put it into your games folder, like so. Now we wanna go into the games folder and check where it is, there it is. It's a WinZip file, so we wanna unzip it right in this file, just like that. Once everything is extracted, just double check it's all there, okay. That's what we need. Now it's basically ready for DOSBox. Now you're gonna need to go find DOSBox wherever you installed it on your computer. Here we are, open the file, DOSBox EXE. Let's load that up. Gives it a few seconds here, everything will load up. And usually when it starts, it's in this small window. Now that's rubbish. So you just need to hit Alt Enter and it'll put this whole program into full screen, just like so. Okay, now that that folder and game is all set up and ready for us to use DOSBox, I've just loaded DOSBox and you're greeted with this horrible front page which can put up a lot of people. You're probably like, oh, what is this? This is so retro. Yeah, it is. Anyway, you cannot use a mouse. You've got to use just classic keyboard controls here. So just uh, be cool, be cool. It's very easy to use. Uh, if you look up top here, it tells you that um, it gives you some basic functions which I highly suggest you write down because they're going to be very useful. The number one command that I highly suggest you write down if you're going to be playing classic PC games is Alt Enter. That'll put the game into full 
little screen, otherwise you're going to be playing the game in this tiny little square in the middle of the screen, and uh, that's just no way to play it. And the other really useful command to write down is also Control F11 and F12. This controls the CPU speed, so it kind of can change the uh, the heart of the PC, the fake PC that we're supposed to be running here. It helps out with games that have uh, kind of uh, they are slow or going a little bit too fast because it's still emulating something that it doesn't know what it is. I don't run into this problem too often, but you know, it can be very useful if you're playing like a little bit more graphic heavy game. So now we're all ready to go, we're gonna load Prince of Persia. So we're gonna link those files that we made earlier to DOSBox, and he has how to do that. He has the command file you gotta know. You're right, mount dash c dash c colon backslash games and then enter now you can see it says the c drive is mounted as a local directory so that means it's kind of linked up now we want to access that file so now we're going to direct dosbox to the c drive there we go c colon enter now it's in the c drive and now we want dosbox to show us what's in that c drive file so we write dir which is directory and enter he has the directory this is the file you download off the internet for me it's Prince of Persia so this is the file we extracted once you downloaded it and then we put it into the file the games file so here it is in its DOSBox form it looks very primitive you say what am I supposed to do here what am I actually looking for what am I doing next so you've got to look for a file that ends in exe that's like an executable file so if you look over here we got Prince exe it usually has the name of the game or an abbreviated version of the game that's the one you're looking for and so to load that game it's very simple you write prince just like it appears there and then you put dot exe and then you press enter and your game will load and we'll be playing prince of persia in a few seconds Let's turn this down before it blows my speakers up We are. I already had it set to full screen. Now I'm getting sidetracked playing Prince of Persia. Can you believe it? This game's animation is so good. Start again for the fiftieth time. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some resources for classic PC gaming. The most obvious and well-known one is called GOG. It stands for Good Old Games. These guys uh, release classic PC games from the 80s and 90s. They actually had them set up perfectly. They all run through DOSBox, so when you download them from them, DOSBox comes with each game, so you can configure it just like I showed you right here. You can do all that kind of stuff. They make it simple. You basically just click on it, and it loads it automatically. 90% of the time that I've found, the games run flawlessly. They've set them up really well. I've only ever had issues with a couple of games that have full motion video. Those ones sometimes you have to configure it a little bit, a little bit of tweaking here and there, but otherwise the games run excellently. Uh, these games you do buy, they are usually very, very cheap. Uh, I would suggest just waiting for sales to come along, their summer sales and their winter sales. The games are dirt cheap, you're going to get them for like a dollar, a dollar or two, even less than that. For these classic PC games, I usually stock up on them every year, like every few months when they have the massive sales. It's a very simple way of playing classic DOS games. The second awesome source for DOS games is called ClassicReload.com. Now what this site is, it is uh, it has thousands and thousands of DOS games, I think there's over 6,000 at this point. It's basically like a massive like archive of classic games. You can actually play these DOS games through your browser and you can put them out into full screen. And they work, they work 50% of the time. <laughs> it's more than that actually. It's, uh, it, works, it works quite well sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Uh, they have thousands and thousands of games by the way. So, you know, it's, 
your odds of getting like something you're looking for was pretty good. Basically what I use this site for, I don't actually use it to actually play the games. Um, I use it to check out all the games that I may have missed, see if they, see if it's worth me hunting them down on eBay or wherever. Because I like to have the big box like classic physical releases, you know, like Zork up there. I don't really like uh, playing a game unless I have the actual physical version of it. Then I don't mind playing like, you know, the program that I downloaded. Yeah, so I use it as a resource to just uh, check out games and test them out and see if they're worth my time. And the third and final site that I would suggest you look at is old-games.com. This again, just like the previous one, it has tons and tons of classic computer games. I'm talking about PC games, it's also got Amiga games and stuff like that. So you've got a, just a massive, absolutely massive selection, thousands and thousands of games again. Uh, these ones are all free, so you can just download them. Uh, each one comes with DOSBox and the guy has set them up also. You can download either uh, just the file, like what we downloaded for the Prince of Persia. You can download that file and put it into your own little folder and load it up old-fashioned way through DOSBox with the old DOS commands. So you got that option. He also gives an option for you to download it with DOSBox already set up in the game. So all you'd have to do is double click on uh, DOSBox once you extract the game and it'll just load up automatically. You won't have to type in anything. So it's, you know, it's very useful uh, both ways. So you got both options there of how to play those games. I would highly suggest checking out that guy's site as well. It's very cool. Okay, so I hope that little intro to DOSBox was useful to you. If you're getting to PC gaming for the first time, it's not as intimidating as you may think. Get to play all these classic games there are so many good games that have never been converted or um, upgraded or re-released it is just so much stuff out there that you would just you just have to play it's just fantastic and thanks for joining me bastish b at 64k i hope you had a good time if you could like and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and i'll see you next time cut to credits <laughs>